To what extent is it relevant to understanding either the contemporary political context or you know the, the, the period from the mid-1970s or late 70s to the present? Well, I would say political crisis is, um, you know, it's extremely important in understanding the whole arc of development, really. I mean, the whole, I would say the whole arc of development from, from the post-war period. I, th I would see that as composed of two basic eras, the sort of social democratic Keynesian welfare state moment, which is sort of the end of the war up to the 60s begins to run into trouble in the 60s. By the 70s, its disintegration is palpable. It's coming apart at the seams. And a new paradigm comes into existence, which is neoliberalism. That has gone through several versions and variants and huge developments. I mean, from the early stages of the multinational corporation to, you know, global capitalist system, which is what we have now, is a huge historical development. But I think all of the period between the 70s and now is really part of that. So, almost casually, almost by chance, we hit on the moment of transition between two major conjunctures. Uh, now, um, I also think that it's, it gives me pleasure to say that those sociology, you know, thinks it's a predictive science. It doesn't predict anything very much, very well. Policing the crisis predicts on the basis of the analysis it made. They, it said, this is not an electoral swing. It's not just a swing of the electoral pendulum. It's not just the usual ins and outs of politics. This is a major historical shift we're looking at. Really deep and profound. The place will not be the same when this one gets going. So it's, you know, it's a historical moment. And the second thing that we said was, and if a certain kind of authoritarian populism is the way in which this crisis is resolved, it will have profound historical effects. And that's an anticipation of Thatcherism, before Thatcherism. So that when, uh, you know, when the election came, when Mrs. Thatcher, to everybody's surprise, took power on, in the Conservative Party, not at all a leading uh, contender, and initiated Thatcherism or whatever it was, whatever that strange combination of authoritarianism and liberalism was, when she initiated it, I said, every, we all said, if that takes root, she will win. And uh, nobody else thought that Thatch Mrs. Thatcher was going to win that election. And nobody else really uh, thought, and for a long time went on not thinking that this was anything more than you know, the Tories will come back in, the Conservatives will come back in, they will go out, Labour will come back in. The alternation of political parties, it was not that. It was the start of a completely, I think, of a different phase of capitalist development. So um, I think the, it was important because it was, you know, it was right, <laughs> I have to say, right about what was coming. What was coming has justified the analysis we made. It was the moment of transition between two conjunctures, and what was going on was not just electoral politics, it was a historical shift. So I feel, you know, that uh, all of that kind of justifies it. Now, what does it tell us about now? Well, what I, what I don't think is that we can say nothing has changed. I don't think that's true. I think if we look at any of the indicators, things have changed, sometimes in different directions. For instance, take the, you know, take policing and social control. Well, policing and social control are now partly in the hands of capitalist enterprises. They've been outsourced. You know, private companies run our prisons. Uh, security firms are completely uh, are privately owned. So the kind of market element, which wasn't present during Thatcherism in this area, has become much more important. Does that mean that the prison system is any nicer? No, it doesn't. Does it mean anything of the kind? Does it mean that the police are very uh, less kind of politicized in their view of the world? No, I think it means that in some ways they're more politicized than the view, in their view of the world than they were. But you can't say it's just the same. It doesn't help me to say we are still in the Thatcher moment because we are not. We're not. Uh, so uh, I'm a 
what I think uh, understanding police in the crisis does is not to answer your question, uh, you know, what does it have to tell us now? It obliges us to do a police in the crisis on now. Yes, to go back to that and to say, what has changed? What remains the same? How does the media function in it? How does the market function in it? What is the nature of the state in a moment when the state isn't coming but going? And so on. So we don't, even in our new preface, try to answer that question. But we try to say, this is what, why the book was important. And if you want to, if you want to uh, ask how, it, how is it important now, you would need to do a kind of analysis, conjunctural analysis of your own on this moment and put race and crime at the center of it as we did and see what happens.